Bjorn, good afternoon. How's it going, Tom? How are you doing, mate? Yeah, very well indeed, thank you. So, what brings you to Motorcycle Life? Well, I mean, it's, I suppose, end of season now, you know, there's a lot of new things on show, products, bikes, people trying to sign deals for next season and, you know, just make uh, contact with uh, potential sponsors or current sponsors. Uh, so, yeah, so it's a good way to finish off the year and uh, just uh, give back, I suppose, to the fans and, and friends of the motorcycle community. Brilliant. So tell us a bit about your racing career then. What have you raced in previously? What are you racing in now? What are you doing for next year? So uh, my background, obviously, I'm South African. I'm not, uh, I'm not local, as you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my background is uh, Super Sport 600 back home uh, for Yamaha. Came over here for a couple of years on Yamaha, moved to Triumph. I've uh, been running British Super Sport with uh, some relative success. Uh, haven't won a race yet, so it's a, it's a bit of a, a bone that I've got to pick with next year. But uh, a nice deal with Team Everquip next year for 2017 on a Yamaha R6 again, which I'm happy about. Something I know and uh, am familiar with. So hopefully that win will come. Brilliant. Is that the brand new Yamaha R6 in South for next year? That will be the brand new one when, when we get it. Um, there is a bit of a, a problem with the delivery time. So I think most teams will start on the older version, older bike. But uh, come maybe April, uh, May, we'll be on the new one. Brilliant. OK, and we've seen, of course, in the likes of the European Championship, Stephen Odendahl from South Africa doing very well uh, over in European Moto2 as well. Is that someone that you would look up to perhaps when in your racing career? Or who was it that you looked up to when you were starting out? Yeah, I think there were, there were, some, there were some older guys when I was uh, earning, earning my stripes back at home. Uh, Sheridan Marais, obviously, he's headlined for South for a long time. My uncle and sort of his era when I was very young, watching it, growing up, watched them. But Stephen... Interesting enough, I don't look up to Steve. I think he's, what he's done is great, but uh, him and me are old competitors. We started at the same time. We went through a number of, uh, uh, you know, fairing, bumping and racing and hard, hard races, but uh, a good kid and he's done, he's done very, very well, as, as is Brad Binder, and uh, flying the fag for SA, so hopefully I can do the same next year. Well, we've seen South Africa doing very well in terms of the international stage. What, what's, what's the end goal for you? What are you looking for? World Super Sport, World Super Bikes, uh, MotoGP? What are we thinking? I think I think every all of us have a dream to get to the top, and the top would have to be MotoGP. But I think uh, realistically, for me at this stage, I think uh, to win a British Super Sport Championship and potentially move to British Super Bikes and be a sort of a household name, I think I, I would have done myself well and, and done myself proud and be happy when I retire one day. Um, if I can go further to the world stage, bring it on. I'll be keen, but uh, we'll see what happens. And you mentioned that you started out your racing career in South Africa and then came over to the UK. What was it that, why did you decide on the UK? Why not somewhere like Spain or somewhere else in Europe? I think at the time, which was 2012, and I think the UK was definitely the place to go. I think it was the strongest domestic championship. I still think it actually is uh, worldwide. America is trying to make a comeback and Spain is obviously strong. But I think in terms of super bikes, you want to be in, uh, in the UK. If you're MotoGP driven, maybe Spain's a better option, but uh, you know, uh, it just seemed the, the language barrier as well. English, you know, I, I was able to get in here on my passport, which is uh, holding an Italian passport. So, yeah, I just ended up in England, really, and never left. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, we're glad to have you. Bjorn, best of luck for 2017. Thanks for chatting to us. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.